listen to my story. This may be our last chance. When I was a child, I was raised by shitty, abusive parents. I have a father who likes to smoke and drink every day. A father who also leaves his children alone at home just to go drinking with his friends. A father who beats his kids just for crying or for no reason at all. A father who imprisoned me in my home while slowing down my education and from having a social life. I have a mother who also physically abused me when I was little. A mother who dares to hit my younger sister when she was little. She was somewhat the same as my father. I was born in a generation that likes to bully others. I've never had true friends until near high school. I've had many violent interactions in my life. Beaten by my parents and by other kids. Getting hazed and was treated as an outcast. Betrayed by my so-called friends, even to this day. In my life, where violence is everywhere. I have almost gotten stabbed, robbed, and shot. I try escaping the real world to the world of the internet, thinking I'll be safe from the violence in the real world. That didn't change anything. I was still being bullied, being insulted, even trolled for their amusement. There is no escape from violence when it is everywhere. During school, when I finished gym, a guy who looks like he goes to a different school approached me and pulled his small knife while demanding my iPod back in 2009. He shoved the knife to my throat, just touching my neck. I was afraid. I couldn't do anything. I didn't want to die, so as I was about to hand it over to him, a cop shows up pulling out his gun and the boy ran away while leaving a small cut on my neck. I walked home without going to rest of my classes like nothing happened. This world. No. This universe doesn't need this violence at all. This is a recording of me and my friend Elijah talking about our recent violent interaction that happened about a month ago. Have you ever encountered any kind of violence lately? Yes, uh, it was two, two months, two and a half. Actually, a month ago. Oh, yeah, it was a month go ago. By very fast. Okay. What happened on that day? Okay, a month ago. Um, we're sitting there doing absolutely nothing, walking. Yeah, we, we, we were just we did, chilling. All we did is pass, walk past the skate park, and these two ignorant fucks decide to walk up, us. walk up to us and start talking shit. Yeah, so, and we're on their bikes, and they were just trolling us, asking us the same question over and over and over. Being provocative and assholey. Suck a bow suck. So. I got fed up and uh, said not in a nice way at all to get the fuck out of my face. And then after like, what, a few minutes? Oh dude, it was like 30 seconds. Oh, it was 30 seconds then. It was like 30 seconds and they started yelling, the little one, what was his name? I don't know. Uh, uh, Jeff, Jeffrey. Oh. Right? Okay. The little one. And then like 20 other skaters it, came. Okay, uh, it wasn't like 20, it was like 8. What? It was, it was a lot. Like, it was a lot. I think the the thing that pissed me off the most is like we had girls with us. Yes. You know, like obviously young girls. Uh, one of our friend was covering you. You know, getting which was really you. annoying. Yes, and they were really ignorant too. They were like yeah, willing to hit a girl. Yeah, no, they would have beat the shit out of everybody. Yes. Which is incredibly stupid. Women they, beaters. Of course they are. Well, that was the interaction. While I escaped to the internet world, where I thought violence doesn't exist. I became a violent person who likes to troll, bully, and insult other people. I became one of them, where I think violence is the answer. I was a huge asshole to everyone around me. It took me a while to realize that creating violence is incredibly stupid and meaningless and it needs to end. Violence is never the answer. As I realized that I cannot escape violence from anywhere I go, there is really no escape. We either confront it or ignore it. Violence is everywhere.